Hello, people of the internet, I am Solrak Dragon, and welcome back to the Darkest Dungeon. Last time, we did a double collector run, pretty much, and we unlocked the last of the basic, or the level 3 bosses in the ruins in the Fulminating Prophet. So, we'll be taking him on. Now, the Prophet, if we can remember, stays in the back, has pews in the front, and does random attacks including a call down, so we're definitely going to want some healing in this mission. And we're also going to want some back row attacks. So back row attack wise, we have our Hellion, who is a good frontline back row attack. We're also going to take a leper for the additional damage on the pews. Next we're going to want some healing power. Um, we can take a Plague Doctor for the stun and debuff potential, as well as some slight heals, and we can take one of our two Vestals here. Am I happy about it? Not in particular, but we gotta take somebody. So, first we make sure all their equipment is up to snuff. Surgeon's robes. Um, you're not going to uh, Masterful Executioner Sword and Bronze Chest Plate. You're already good, and you're already good. Next, we check their skills. You're good. You need a bit of buffing. You definitely need a bit of buffing. And you need a bit of buffing. Okay, that very much depleted all the money we gained in the last mission, but that's fine. Alright, you will be taking that and a Book of Holiness. You will be taking Dismas's head. No. You're taking the Berserk Charm and the Accuracy Ring. You'll take a bit more stress, yes, and less dodge, but it's worth it. You, meanwhile, will be taking Dismas's head and the Book of Dress. Yeah. And you will take. I could have swore we got some sort of vessel only thing to increase your healing potential, but I guess not. Um, in that case, take Junia's head and the Book of Holiness. There we go. Alright, we got our party all built out for this. Let's embark to take out the Fulminus. The fulminating prophet. So we'll take a good two stacks of food here. Um, two, three shovels, two of these, and two stacks of torches. Let's embark. This raving creature had to be silenced, but doing so proved maddeningly impossible. Oh. How had he survived the stockades, the icy waters? and the knives I delivered so enthusiastically into his back. Hmm. How had he returned time and time again to rouse the town folk with his wild speculations and prophecies? I don't think they were speculations at this point, considering you tried The echoes of his mindless death. tittering reverberate maddeningly. This party composition will work. Leper isn't a standard second position, but it will work in this case, since we need you for the major damage to back row when the Prophet comes along. Some scouting. Secret room, huh? So, head down this way to get the secret room first. There's the key. A handsome Blood reward links. for a task well head performed. To here. Next we head this way because I believe that it cannot be in a corner. It has to be there. Go ahead and eat. Even the cold stone so seems bent on preventing there. passage. Head through there. If he is there, we take him down. If he's not there, then we just backtrack down there. Easy enough. Torch. Sex contents mines. Got gold. 
Now we're gonna be our first round of combat with this party setup. Which is something I miss really worry about. This is a medium level dungeon. Alright. You have very li minimal light resist, so light background. That. Well, judgment. To make sure that play is job the slow done. death. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. That's a stun. It's got a 70% stun resist, though. 220% lead resist. So it's gonna make an attack. And check. Ground pound, huh? We all resist the stun. That's what matters. Good dodge. You know you got a big tank to your dodge. Uh. A decisive Good pummeling. decision. Good decision. I will then do another play grenade there. He is dead from play. And he is dead from barbarian. Not this way the Hellion. Blade. Uh, Seize this moment. Yeah, go ahead and use our last. Push time. on to the task's end. Busts and crusts. Busty crests. Crap. Curious is the trap maker's art. His efficacy unwitnessed More by busts. his own eyes. Uh, yeah, we'll drop the herbs for it. I should not have dropped the herbs. Ignore it then. A bit more scouting. Can we scout beyond that one? No. Not yet, at least. Alright. Uh, you have a very lower blight resist, so we will go ahead and play Grenadia. Good, good, good. All the damage we can do counts. Red. That is. I will... That's what I'm talking about. Damn. Go ahead and confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Yeah. It goes first. Why is it going first? Okay. Everybody's got a little damage on them. That's all right. The bigger the beast, the greater the glory. That's money. Drop the anti venom for the money. All right. This is a strange one so far. A map! Thank God this helps. Okay, we've just confirmed that this is where we want to go. Glad we confirmed the right Guard lights. That's new. Um, low blight resist, though, so go ahead and jump play grenade there. And you are actually going to party heal. We're starting to get a little damaged. Flash of the tail. That yellow thing makes me think stun, and I was confirming. Dodge! You gotta dodge. Damn. Okay. So these guys can stun. It's dangerous. Death waits. That was For the bad slightest grip. lapse in concentration. And a bad stun. So that one missed. So that gargoyle's dead. Slowly. Nice gently. This is how a life is taken. Party kill again. Their formation is yeah. broken. Maintain the, the offensive. Fury of claws. That's a move. Attack. It's not expecting a move. You're dead next to her, not this one. Thank you for existing the pool. Uh continually on Done. That was an Destroy interesting fight. I was not expecting all. gargoyles. Pretty much. Um, okay. 
great is the weapon that cuts on its own. I actually do want to take the medicinal herbs so that we can use that. So you drop the shovel for the medicinal herbs and camp. A moment Peace. of respite. Everybody's a chance to healed. steal oneself against the coming horrors. Then we don't have a night time. Fuck. I cannot believe we don't have a night time protection. Okay. In that case are going to need to buff ourselves up for this fight. You can buff up your resistances. That's not really anything useful. You can buff up your accuracy and damage if in position one. Very useful, though. You can give target a bit of a C boost. That's not bad. Give everybody protection. That's good. So, encourage. No more encourages, so pray to give them all a bit of protection buff. We have three left. I will give you a buff. What? That's yourself? Shit. I need to pay better attention. The match no is ambush. struck. A blazing star is born. And we get the holy water. So, let's rearrange positions real quick. Holy water gives a protection bonus somewhere in there, so have our best to use it. Should have waited, but... Oh well. Because that will fade in a minute now. Mind that such missteps are the exception. Okay. And not the rule. How I did not see that, I don't know. Because we had scouting here. But whatever. Alright, here we go. The madman hides Culminating there, prophet. Behind the pews, spouting his mindless drivel. So that one is where the attack is going to come. Good to know. Play grenade back. Got a stupid amount of resistance to the stuns, so for now let's focus on hitting. You meanwhile can focus on getting rid of these pews. And iron sword. Good. Fulminate is that light. Lights only. Rubble of Ruin did not do much. Thank you. It's fine. As long as he only targets one with that attack, we are very good. You are going to... party heal. Just to sort of soft counter. And he will die. This first pew will die. I am And a stun. He stuns our Helen. That's bad. And only 14. So he's not gonna take much in the way of damage this turn. But that's fine. Press this advantage. Like one pew down. Give them no quarter. Play grenade. As long as we can keep stacking that light up, we'll be fine. Party kill. you're starting to target two. That is when I begin to work. Only slightly, though. Uh, toss another play grenade. Now, Iron Swan is out. But the pack cannot hit. He does not have much in the way of bleed resistance, though. But this will not do as much damage. It's 
sell the good thing. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. He is in close range. Just the one the He's trying to stun our healer and he succeeded. No, he did not. Thank you. Okay, that did increasingly high amount of damage there. We should be able to kill him this turn. I will not just bless him. That blight up. Our heal. Just in case of a blight or anything. And 14 to 25, 9 to 17 to 14 to 25. 20. And he is done. Did he foresee his done. own demise? No, I he did not. not. So long as he remains right. dead. So. Drop that torch, take the Consecrated Pew. Grave Robber only. We don't have a Grave Robber on us. This Seer Stone, more scouting chance, is interesting. This is worth $12.50 each. I will drop the standard gold for the Seer Stone. And drop the torches for the Stunning Set. Continue adventuring. Backtrack a bit. Go ahead. Claustrophobia. That's an alert. We're gonna have you be the one to work on the alchemy table. Nope. We're leaving. Couldn't risk that being the collector. Could not risk it. Because it could have been. It very well could have been. Alright, so another 15,000 gold. That mildly counters what we spent. And level 4. You had to tip over to level 5. Yeah. So we're down one vessel, but we get two more level 4 heroes. You get Cove Explorer. You get a disease. And that replaces the love interest. Not sure if that's good or not. You also got a disease, less healing skills while camping. You're obsessed with self-worship, and turn any chance, chance to turn any miss to a hit, replace the warrior of the night. Okay. So. To the resourceful thief. Idle grave robbers gain one resolve level. Ephemeral affairs. So that will occur after this mission. This next mission, whatever it is. Which means you will boost up to 6 automatically. Is that good? I can see how that could be good. Yeah. It won't exclude you from level 5 missions, so that will be fine. Alright. Exit and sort by level. So next, we are going to first unequip everything from the party. Sort by rarity again. And let's get some diseases cured. So this leper will be first. Get rid of that hemophilia. And then you get rid of your balloon. You have the bad humors. And you're the only other one with the disease. So now we start by stress. You need some stress relief. You will go anywhere for it. But, since you're a cleric, we're gonna go ahead and have you pray. There we go. Alright. Check the blacksmith, see if we can't upgrade. We can, in fact, get the final level of weapons. In the end, every plan relies upon a strong arm and tempered steel. Which is the razor's edge there. That'll be interesting. But again, sort by level. We got three level five heroes. So, when we get one more, I think it would be time to take on the first of the darkest dungeons. Oh, that's being more intact. Um, for now, though, I think the next mission we'll do will probably be in the Warren Seer, because, yeah, that's um, probably the safest bet. 
And after that, who knows? For now, though, I've been Solrak Dragon. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, leave me some feedback in the form of a like or a comment. If you guys want to check out more videos by me, be sure to check out my channel below. And if you like what you see, drop me a subscription. Outside of all that, I will see you all in the next video. Have a fantastic day, everybody.